Welcome to another MyTrack training video. Operations. Operations are used in quotes. As you see on the screen shown, a quotation could have one or more operations. These operations are predefined in operation maintenance. When you are quoting, each operation can be set up and include setup time, a run time, includes formulas, and includes costing information. So all this information needs to be set up prior to you actually start quoting. You could start minimal and then extend it. You access the operation maintenance by going to maintenance pull down menu operations. Here's a list of some operations. For example, laser. The key here is an operation is a process. It's not always a machine. It could be a machine. It could be a work center. But a lot of times it's a process because one machine you could do multiple processes. For example, a drill press could be used as a straight drill. Or it could be used to countersink. It could be used to tap. You may have different operation rates. You may have different formulas for each one of those type of operations. So as you're setting up your operations, you could start at a high level and and then drill down to those specific operations as you determine the need to. The key on setting up your operations is you could enter a code. MyTrack will sort these operations by this code. You could renumber the code. You could change it at any time. And the name as you see on the left hand side your list will have the code and name and if it's enabled or not. The key fields are really describing the setup portion and the run portion. The setup is when you're setting up to have an operation being worked on and a run is the actual production side of it. So in this example you could set up your profit rates, your overhead rate, the number of employees that usually perform the operation, and employee overhead. In these examples, as you change the rates, you will see your operation sell rate change. So in my track, we try to do things cost basis. So you have your cost, then it's marked up by your operation rate, or if you put in a market percentage. Also, be aware that your employees are set up and you could have one or more employees. So on a stamping line, you may have actually have four employees performing the same operation. Usually in setup, it's one person, unless an example would be you have a forklift and you're moving equipment around for the setup, moving dies around, and you require some other people to help you accomplish that task. Now for runtime, it's the exact same way. You have your profit rates, overhead rates, the number of employees, and things. Now, an operation has different formulas. By default, what is included with my track is a setup in minutes formula, and we have a formula for the runtime, minutes per part, or no formula at all. You could add more formulas as you desire. Please see the operation formula setup for more information on that area. Now, an operation can be unattended. When it's unattended, there's really no employee rate or employee overhead rate that will get calculated into this part, this process, because there's no employee there doing it. Now, this situation is more of a run. So if you have like a night. Um, lights out situation where your machine is running all night nobody's there you would actually have the um, operation rate being performed the whole time but the employee would not be doing much now you, if you select unattended operation you could put a percentage in there so it's 10 percent so it, in this example it would only apply 10 percent of the employee overhead rate and employee rate to the value of this operation now, once you set this up, you can begin quoting. Now, one last thing is you do have work center. Let me just explain the difference between department, work center, and operations real quick. A department is an overall group of work centers. 
department could be a paint line, it could be a punching line, it could be a stamping line. Once you have your departments, you could assign departments, work centers to departments. So once you do that, a work center is a group of machines. So if you have the same machine of a uh, punch press, you have 10 of them, you have five lasers, they're all the same machine, so jobs could be allocated to the different machines. You could have one work center that groups all those together. And then you have operations. An operation is assigned to a work center. And that's what we've done here. In my setup, I've created some work centers, and I've assigned this operation to the work center. The reason we do that is when you're quoting, you're quoting operations, but when you're manufacturing, you are using work centers for scheduling and everything. So this is a mapping between those two when you move a quote to a router for a work order. Okay, so that's the basic idea of formulas. Once, I mean operations, once your operations are in there, you could then begin your quoting stage and actually add operations to your quote. Okay?